Hi, it's great to see you. We are going to be doing a workout with the Pilates ring today, also known as the Magic Circle. This is a great prop to have at home. It's really light, it's really easy to store, and there are so many things you can do with it. So this workout is specifically designed around the circle. You are more than welcome to do it without the circle. So join in, there are some things you won't be able to do, but you can always play with us a little bit, okay? So we're gonna start sitting. Legs straight out in front of you, about mat distance apart, and let's bring the ring in front of you with your hands pressing down gently, just kind of resting there on top of the ring. So I first want you to find a nice tall posture. This alone can be a lot of work. Pull the toes back towards you. If you have tight hamstrings or tight hips, you won't necessarily love to be here. So when you're ready, take an inhale. Exhale, press into the ring. Inhale to release. Exhale, press. So feel like every time you press into the ring, you're gonna get rid of the air in your lungs. And then every time you release the ring, you're filling your lungs back up and maybe sitting up a little taller each time. On this one, when you press into the ring, I want you to round your spine. Now your spine's gonna round back so that the ring can stay still. And now you're gonna sit back up. Okay, now what we're gonna do is just change our press. So when you exhale around, just let the ring release. Then when you inhale and sit up, press into the ring and maybe find a little back bend. So exhale, round, release the ring. Inhale, press, lift, open. One more. Good job. Find that nice, tall, neutral spine again. Keep your left hand on the ring. Reach the right arm up and back. Find a rotation. Exhale, press down into the ring. Inhale to release. So just finding some connection by using the ring, by making your muscles work. You're having that full body connection into your breath. Just getting a nice warm up here. Good, bring the hand back. Switch arms, left arm up and back. Find your length. Find some height in your spine. Good, bring the hand back. One more, press both hands down. And then release and bring the ring into your hands. Inhale, let's rotate to the right. Exhale, center. Inhale, rotate left. And as you do this, I want you to just give a gentle pull apart on the ring. Okay, so your hands are pulling apart from each other here. You're gonna get some upper back muscles working. Good, one more. Bring the ring up towards the ceiling. Same thing, keep pulling it apart and rotate. One more each side. And back to center, nice job. Hands come down in front of you, glue the legs together. Scoot to the very front of your mat with your heels here. Inhale, tall. Exhale, curl. And roll down. Inhale, arms behind you. Exhale, roll back up. And over. Restack. So you might be thinking that the ring isn't doing very much right now. And in some ways it's not. We're just holding this very lightweight ring. But there is this connection that happens in the body sometimes by giving your arms something to hold on to and something to do. That muscle energy connection can come all the way up into the center of the body, even up into the brain, and can make this exercise feel a little bit more achievable. Good, on this one, let's roll halfway down. Stay here, inhale, arms lift, exhale, lower. Good, four more, keep the tail tucked, 
three, two, last one, inhale, exhale, back up. Nice job. Okay, we're going to place the right foot in the ring and then bring it up towards you. So it's bent, the knee is bent, exhale, you're going to straighten and then inhale to bend. Shoulders stay down. So think about that open chest. There's a reason I had you warm up with that. Okay, we're going into tree. It's one of my favorite exercises to use the ring for. Inhale, exhale, you're gonna curl. Again, so we just did a roll down. Same thing, curl, roll down, pull the leg with you. Inhale, exhale, roll back up. Press the leg into the ring. Give yourself that leverage to find a tall seat at the top. Inhale, exhale, curl. Maybe getting a little more stretch. Good, one more. Nice job, take the leg a little over to the left, just for a little stretch here. Good, come back to center. Roll up into a little crunch so you get a little more of a stretch. Take the left leg off so that it's hovering. Take the ring off so that it's hovering and switch. Five, four, three, two, one. Right foot back into the ring. Roll down and then all the way back up. Nice job. And let's find the other side. Left foot in the ring. Again, nice and tall. And just find a little hamstring stretch first and bend. Okay, when you're ready, make sure the shoulders are down, release the neck, and here we go into our tree. Control the descent as you roll down. Press into the ring. If you need to, just straighten those arms and you're like a rocking horse. It'll help pull you up. down, giving maybe a little more stretch each time. So if you've attempted tree before and haven't been able to, this is a great way to work into it. Okay, come down, take the legs slightly over to the right. Breathe, the stretch can be intense. Okay, up to center. Here we go, same thing, so up into a crunch. The right leg covers. Take the ring off and let's switch legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Left foot back in. Roll down. And then on an exhale, come all the way back up. Nice. And come down. All right, so we are going to Set the ring to the side <clears throat> for a minute. We're gonna find rolling like a ball. You're gonna balance back on your sit bones, okay, with your hands on your shins and you're forming a little ball shape. When you're ready, you inhale back and exhale up. You try to find that balance at the top. So when you go back, you're just going to your shoulder blades, okay? Now, you can stay there or you can, and I'm going to say attempt because we'll see what mine looks like, but this is a great challenge to bring the ring into your hands and come up into your rolling like a ball shape. Okay, and then here we go. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So it's a fun way to challenge your core a little bit more. One more. Nice job. Straighten the legs out. And now you're ready for what's coming next too. Inhale, you're stretched, you're warmed up, roll down, and we're gonna find teaser. Now I have to tell you guys this because I think it's funny. This is my second time through this workout this morning because I proceeded 
to delete everything I recorded for you all already this morning, so now I'm recording it again. So that either means I'm warmed up or it means I'm exhausted and teasers aren't happening. So um, if you're tired, I'm right there with you. So we're gonna have both feet in the ring. Again, shoulders down, knees bent. Inhale, exhale, use your legs and use your arms. They're pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling to get you up into your teaser position. Inhale, exhale, curl your tailbone, bend your knees and come back down. So really, like I said, use the arms and use the legs, not by bending the arms necessarily, but by pulling and then pushing with the legs. And then at the top, I do pull myself in closer. Okay, so you can either stay there or bring the ring into your hands. Inhale, exhale, come up. Maybe look right through the ring at your toes. Again, that's version two, so you can stay there. Or for our last two, you can do full teaser, which is here. Arms and legs straight, inhale, exhale. Here we go, reach and lift. Again, I like to look right through the ring at my toes. Inhale at the top. Exhale, keep reaching the ring towards your toes, towards your toes, towards your toes, until you're all the way down. We have one more, whatever version you're doing. And lift, float your legs up. Inhale at the top, smile, and then roll back down. Nice job. Bend your knees. And the ring is gonna go around your knees. Okay, so let's have the feet flat. And I want you to separate them enough that you're actually pressing into the ring with your knees. So I want a good amount of tension pressing the ring out. Inhale. Exhale, curl your tailbone and roll yourself up. Inhale at the top and exhale, roll back down. So this should feel like a nice release after the teaser work we just did. That doesn't mean easy. <laughs> This means it should, like for me, it feels like a nice kind of release for my spine. Roll up and stay there. You're gonna press out into the ring, but only with the right knee, okay? So press, release, everything else stays still. Three, two, one, left side. Five, four, three, two, one, both sides. Five, four, Three, two, one, inhale, exhale, roll back down. Bring the legs up to tabletop and then straighten them up and you're still pressing into the ring, okay, with both legs. Now you can either stay here or if you want a little more abdominal work, you're gonna roll yourself up into your crunch, reach your fingertips long, press out with both legs, press, press, so you're gonna get plenty of work if you stay flat. You have to listen to your body and where you are. And 10 months out, 10 and a half months out from baby number two, and just now, am I starting to feel kind of secure enough to get into some of these postures? But every day is different. So don't push it. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend, come back. Let's take the ring out. Place it in between your legs. So I go just right above my knees, so it's more on the fleshy part, not on the bone. And then squeeze, make sure it doesn't fly across the room. <laughs> I've never seen that happen, but I always feel like it's gonna fly. Okay, so when you're ready, exhale, roll up into your bridge. Okay, keep the bridge. Now we're gonna squeeze with just the right leg. Squeeze, squeeze, three, Two, one left leg, five, four, three, two, one, both legs, three, two, one, keep the squeeze, roll back down. Now do you know why it's called a ring of fire? If you didn't already. Tabletop, straighten them up. 
Roll up to a crunch if that's your chosen position. If not, stay flat. Squeeze. Squeeze. And now we've got some inner thighs. And five, four, three, two, one. Bend. Roll down. Take the ring out and just rock side to side. Good job.